we have arrived at Cape Town International Airport, ready for our trip. In typical South African style, we don't trust the people at the airport. So I condomized my bag, <laughs> wrapped it so that no prying hands can get inside and steal my stuff. And I'm carrying a backpack, so nowhere to lock it. And it's pointless locking zips, just break a zip. Twelve. No, oh, it's about the same. No, a little bit more. Twelve. Well done. I didn't actually pack that much. So you can pack like a man. <laughs> thank you, thank going to fetch cars I don't know what I'm driving Sean has says it's a surprise so we're gonna go fetch the car it's then we're gonna go cruiser. it's not a cruiser it's not a donkey but we're gonna go fetch the car and when we get there this guy I'll let you guys know what we get now but first morning in the UAE it's amazing, it's hot. They told me it was cold. They told me it was cold it's here. Cold. Now it's lovely. It's lovely cold here. I'm surprised Sean's not wearing a jersey. I've got jeans on. He's got jeans on. There's no wind. Oh, wind is a factor now. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go see what we get. All right, we're arriving at Freedom Overland to fetch our vehicle. Still don't know what I'm driving. Sean won't tell me. You feel I've got it. you a Jimny. It's a Jimny. There we go, it's a Jimny. That makes me more nervous. Well, you could reach the pedals at least then. <laughs> Fine, fair enough. Let's see what we're gonna get, guys. Freedom Overland in Dubai. Sexy. Oh, oh, uber sexy. Sexy. Uh, I mean, it looks nice. I'm gonna go with that still sexy. Crazy. 
here we are. This is what we are driving. It is a Landy. It is a 110. I'm not sure engine wise I'm gonna go with I think it's a Puma 2.4 left hand drive. Uh oh. Hi, Roland. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I have one problem. Yeah. The steering wheel is on the wrong side. Oh, Can we put like it on the right quickly? Just now, quick conversion. Now, now it's our, our? <laughs> If you just updated before one half an hour, no, I should have yeah, oh, The guys are going on lunch. We came at the wrong time. Okay, yeah. we, can, we can wait till after lunch. We can go for lunch. We can no, come no, back to the steering it's, wheel. It's Friday. Lunch is four hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hmm? This is sexy. Look at the seats. Woo. We're going to ride in style. <laughs> what do we call her? This is a her. Yame Netiket. Yame. Name yet to be named. It'll, it'll name itself. Yeah. Stunning. Stunning. It's Yeti to be named. Yeti. <laughs> I can just imagine. No, it's like super awkward. Really? What? Like I didn't even make this turn. Wow. Yeah, well, let's go. Jump in. Alright. Alright, so this is the weirdest thing in my life ever. I'm driving a left hand drive for the first time ever. I'm in Dubai. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'm going to places I don't know. And I'm on the wrong side of the car. I'm looking at the wrong side of the bonnet. On the wrong side of the road? It's really difficult to judge that side of the car somehow. I mean, it, it feels okay. Yeah. It's just, it's very odd grabbing the gear stick with my right hand. I mean, the clutch being reversed compared to the accelerator is another thing that's very strange. That, that I adopted to quite quickly. I'm kidding. It's not reversed. <laughs> it's the same. So it's the morning of we're leaving to Oman. So we're leaving Dubai or oh, UAE. We're going to Oman. And that fourth is our car. Landy. We've named him Blandy because it's a black Landy. There he is. Sean's car. I don't know what Sean's car's name is actually. I don't know if it has a name. But that's us. That's what we're going to be sleeping in for the next 12 days. So now it's time to pack everything. It's a bit weird because 
like normally I've got all my camera stuff and everything, so I've got the GoPros in. Um, it's a bit weird because I didn't charging stuff, and but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The back's a bit empty. Figure out what goes in there, and then empty side there. And there's another cupboard over there, but nothing in. Maybe we should take the inners out of the out of the. <laughs> Maybe we should take the, the, the plate inners out of there because then there's more space. Yep. The toilet rolls and stuff because yep. there's no plates. Yep. So, but that's the landing. We're going to push the fridge right to the back and then pack this to the brim. To the brim. Vehicles packed, almost on our way. Sean, Expedition Extreme, Roland, My Life in Africa, Vehicle Wise, Freedom Overland. Thank you guys. Really, really awesome that you have given us the car for the trip. We are currently in Dubai, in the UAE. We're leaving Sean's house very shortly and we're hitting the road, going to Oman, crossing the border. I mean, I get a border crossing in another country. How cool is that? All right. There you go. Heading into Oman. Oh, seat belts that side. Right, so on our way. Get the car into gear. my seat further back I can't reach the pedals there we go now I'm very close oh well it's what it is here we go on our way about to come to the border um, of UAE and Oman. So we're officially in Oman. Just did uh, the first fuel stop. It was 25 reels, which equates to 1,100 Rand for 100 liters. So instead of, it's, it's half the price of hope, basically. So not too bad. Uh, so what would that make for you, 11 Rand a liter? We had a little bit of trouble at the border post. The guy at the border post didn't believe that these were tonic waters. He thought they were alcoholic. So he kind of kept calling the other security to come and have a look. So a bit of a mess in the back here, but these 100% tonics which they didn't believe were tonics. They didn't believe these were tonics. He was convinced it was alcohol. So, I don't know, Sean said something and then they were like, oh yeah. Canada Dry. Canada Dry, that's what he said. That is it. It says it, right? Uh, but he did, maybe he couldn't read that, yeah, that one. He could only read the squiggle. Maybe the squiggle says something else. <laughs> Canada Dry. <laughs> he wanted to charge Gail 210, what's going to your reels? Yeah. 210 yeah, yeah, for the SIM card. Yeah. So it's 10 grand. What? Yeah. 210, huh? 210 each. Because remember it's times 46 to the rand. So it would have equated to 10,000 rand for two SIM cards. Oh, I was like, yeah, you're smoking yourself. <laughs> no, so then it's not worth data. Yeah. Then we just off grid. Off the grid. Yeah. Off the grid always. Tough luck. Always good. 
But one thing we've noticed is the language barrier is massive. It's um, a lot of and we're like, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. We saw our first camels. They were like chocolate labs. Chocolate lab camels. They were in the back of a truck at the border. Uh, obviously I couldn't film them because we were at the border. Can't film at the borders. Same, same rules apply here. But chocolate lab camels. What would you call them? chocolate camels? Oh, no, no, chocolate camels. Not chocolate lab camels. Chocolate camels. <laughs> But chocolate lab is the only color I can explain it. I've never, I didn't think they made camels, or made camels. I didn't <laughs> think camels came that color. I just pictured them always that sort of beigey tan color, but apparently you get um, chocolate lab camels. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. From what I understand, you're allowed to wild camp anywhere in a mod. Yep. We are pulling off the road onto some track to find our first night's camp. Yep. 